everyone, Tams here. Today I'm going to be sharing an update on my 2016 reading challenge and also share my January used book haul. Let's start with a reading update. Quite honestly, in January I fell into an awful reading slump. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you may already know that I have been tackling Middle March very slowly. Now, I absolutely love this book. It's beautifully written. I really enjoy it, but I'm finding that I have to read it very slowly to absorb it all. And for some reason in January, I hit a wall and I stopped reading for almost two weeks. So to pull myself out of that slump, I decided to focus on some nonfiction books and that really helped get me back on track. So some of the nonfiction books I read, I had to read anyway for a project I'm working on. And the first one is The Art of the Handwritten Note by Margaret Shepard. Now, if you are a calligrapher or if you're into calligraphy like I am, you know who Margaret Shepard is. She is well known in the world of calligraphy, so I really enjoyed reading this book and learning just a little more about her. Also, I read The Creative Entrepreneur which is a very interesting exercise to help the, help artists and right brain people learn more about business fundamentals. I am actually a left brain person. I have been immersed in the left brain world of math and science and logic my whole life. My background, I'm an engineer, if I have never mentioned that. But um, I found this to be very interesting and I am going to be researching more into this. So more to come. And finally, the book that really has pulled me out of my reading slump is When I Was a Child, I Read Books by Marilyn Robinson. I'm really enjoying this. I'm almost finished with this. I really like Marilyn Robinson, and I'm finding this book to be very timely for me personally. I do follow American politics and current events, and I enjoy that type of thing. And I have enjoyed her insight on that. So it's a good read for me. Okay, let's get into the January book haul. I mentioned in my last book haul that I mostly buy used books and I enjoy finding used books. I have a great time hunting for them and I enjoy building my book collection. So for January, I purchased eight books and I spent a little over $18. So that's about, you know, $2 and some change per book. So I was within my budget. I'm very excited. So let's go through the list. First up, All the King's Men to go into my Puller Surprise collection. This book is over 50 years old, so I am very excited about that. I love vintage paperbacks. Next, Edith Wharton, Age of Innocence. Again, for the Pulitzer collection. I found this copy of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Now, I am actually going to be putting this to a into a little local free library that's in our community. Uh, I often pick up classics for that. Um, I enjoy collecting classics and adding them to free libraries. Okay, Never Let Me Go. I think everybody on BookTube talked about this book for the past two years, so I finally picked it up. Just a couple of bucks, so I will probably read this in 2016 because it received quite a bit of uh, favorable reviews. Another Edith Wharton, The House of Murr. Again, I already have this book in my collection, so I'll be adding this to the little free library in our community. Dear Life by Alice Munro, Nobel Prize winner. Have to have it. Again, for the Pulitzer collection I have growing, I found this huge hardbound copy of Gone with the Wind. Quite honestly, it'll be a long time before I will want to read Gone with the Wind. I am a product of the South. I have been overexposed to this movie and I'm not really interested in reading it right now, so it'll probably sit on my shelf for quite a while, but I did want to have it in my collection because it was a Pulitzer winner. And my favorite find of the month was this old antique copy of Thoreau's World. This has excerpts from uh, Thoreau's personal journal and I just love that kind of thing. If, if you watch some of my other videos you know that I'm into journaling and writing so I was very happy to pick this up. I paid three dollars for it. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and joining me and let me know if you found any great deals on books this month.